Okay, so you can see I've set up my um, key, uh, piano keyboard MIDI controller. Um, I'm still in Ableton. I've got a different sample this time. I've got a bit of a weird kick. And that's all we're going to do on this lesson, just play with the kick, right? We're actually going to start up a metronome. So you can probably get a metronome app on your phone and most doors have it built in. Um, so my metronome set to 110 beats per minute. You can set it to whatever feels comfortable. Too fast is obviously can get really hard, but also too slow can sometimes be really hard to keep in time with too. So I like around 100 somewhere is normally pretty good. Um, so let's start up the metronome. Now at first we're just going to do it in time with the metronome. You won't be perfect all the time, I'm definitely not. Um, but as long as you start getting used to staying in time with something, it's just good practice to do this every now and then. Um, and then once you've practiced just keeping in time with it, it can get quite boring. I really like to just hit the, stay in time with the first note, the, you see the high pitch beep, and then do whatever you want after that, as long as you come back and hit that high pitch beep again. So, as long as you hit hit that one so we can and you don't need to worry about what exactly the beats the other ones are on just have fun with it feel it out and enjoy it and just come back to that beat all the time So you probably might start doing the same things over and over again like I do. You'll find whatever your natural um, feel is. And um, especially once you start putting on some music and start doing this stuff to it, it's a really good way to feel. Um, and hopefully, I don't know whether I've mentioned this yet, hopefully every, at every stage you've been practicing along to some music because that's where it becomes really fun. Um, so let's stop that metronome. <laughs> really annoying. So... This is a stage where we can practice that um, polyrhythm again. So we don't need to count it out again. If you can remember what it is, you don't need to remember. I'll just remind you. So um, and so once you again, once you get used to that, you can just bring it up whenever you need it. Okay, and you can put it in the middle of beats whenever you need it, which is really, really fun to do. Um, and we'll talk about that in later lessons. What the another thing we can do is do a two to five polyrhythm, um, and this is really actually really easy. Okay, any any two to any odd number polyrhythm is fairly easy. Two to even numbers are no brainer, but even two to an odd number can be pretty easy. So one will go one, two. And two and three and four and five and one um, and then the other one just needs to do the one and then the end of three so one and two and three and four and five and one and two and three and four and five and one and two and again if this is just way too hard don't worry about it move on to something else so we're going to go one and two and three and four and five and one and two and three and four and five and one and two and three and So, as I said, any odd number is easy to do. So if we're going to make it seven, again, this will do it every time. And this will do it just on the one and the end of four. So let's try that. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and two and three and four. So, um, 
it, obviously all, all the odd numbers up to infinity can be easily done then once you learn that. Um, okay, that'll be it for this lesson. I'll see you again in the next one.